Hello, this is the Thrunite TN42 V2 equipped with the Luminous SPT90.2 LED. As you can see, it comes in a big box. Inside the box, you will find the TN42 V2 flashlight. A little warranty card, a gift card, manual, spare O-rings, spare USB port cover, two of them. Spare side button cover, key ring, shoulder strap, and a power plug with a USB C cable attached to it. Another card. And lastly, a desiccant packet. The TN42 V2 is quite large. In fact, Let's compare size. Here's the Lumen Top X9L. Here's the Workus TS30S. And here is the Fireflies T9R. As you can see, the TN42 V2 is much bigger than any of these three but it is not the largest flashlight in my collection the largest flashlight in my collection happens to be an astrolox mf04 The TN42V2 is powered by four 21700 batteries, 4000 milliamp hour, 3.6 volt, at 14.4 watt hour. They're set in parallel. You can use just one battery. Two batteries, three batteries, or four batteries. Another thing to note is that you don't have to use the through night 21700. You can use a Sofern 21700 as long as the length is approximately the same as the through night one.
Operating the TN42 V2 is quite simple. Press and hold to go into Moonlight. Moonlight or Firefly mode is one lumen, lasts 180 days. From off, click once and press and hold to cycle through the modes. Low mode is 80 lumens, lasts 82 hours. Medium, 425 lumens, 15 hours. High, 1,863 lumens, last three hours. Double click to go into turbo, 4,848 lumens, last for about 125 seconds, and then it steps down to 1,737 lumens, last for 160 minutes after that. Triple click to go into strobe. 3,996 lumens last for four hours. This is the USB Type-C wall charger that came with the flashlight. Just pop it out, stick into the wall, stick this into the flashlight, It has a charging rate of about 2 amps. I find that this combination does a better job. I get about 3 amps. So if you want to charge your flashlight a little faster, go with a better charger and USB Type-C cable. To replace the USB port cover, you will need something to keep the TN42 V2 in place. You can use a foam pad or a towel, for example. And you will need a pair of tweezers. Pull the old cover out and grab a spare from the bag. There should be two. You will need to push that peg into that hole using the tweezers. Give it a little twist, and of course that didn't work. There we go. Nice and snug. To replace the silicone cover under the switch, take your foam pad and place the TN42 V2 on top of the foam pad to keep it in place. And then using your tweezers, rotate the retaining ring counterclockwise. Be careful not to scratch the ring too much as you're doing this. Grab the cover from the bag and then push it in one side at a time. Give it a few twists, make sure it's in there. You can use the tweezer again.
There we go. Put the button back on top, followed by the retaining ring. Screw in place clockwise, and then use the tweezer to tighten it. Now, if you don't want to scratch your button, there is a tool that you can purchase to remove this. It's a camera lens uh, tool. You can get it off of Amazon.